So what is fluorescence? You know, this is using UV light to, um, when you go to a bowling alley that's really fun and has black lights everywhere and everyone's teeth are really white, that's fluorescence. That's when, what happens is, um, it's a phenomenon in which a wavelength of light returned from the shined object is longer than the wavelength of the shined object. Long story short, I have my sample. There's some property of my sample that when 365 nanometers hits it, it gets excited and reflects off at about 400 nanometers. So it, shot, it, it is hit with 365, reflects off higher, more than 400. So we can utilize that um, to create contrast in our images. So right now, here's what we have here is the UV light shining down and then the higher wavelength reflecting into our camera. If we use a UV cut filter, we can cut out that shined light and we only want to see the fluorescent uh, material. So back to our original image, I've cut out everything less 400 or less. I don't care about it. I don't want to see it. 365, don't get to my camera. I don't want you. 400 and above, come on in. You're welcome to the party. So we can cut off that UV light. We only see the fluorescence. So we're removing the reflection off of that metal. And now we're only looking at the fluorescence of the lubricant on the gear. So we're getting a much higher contrast image by just adding a UV cut filter. Um, UV lights, UV applications tend to be pretty easy. Um, a lot, and only for the reasons a lot of times people are saying, printing with invisible ink, it you know, illuminates or fluoresces at 365 nanometers. You get a light that wavelength and you're pretty much all set. For example, this white UV filter in a white can. Um, Sometimes it solves things like, you know, glue, lubricant, stuff like that usually has some type of fluorescence as well. So if you're dealing with that kind of material, it's always worth it to try UV as well. Um, another thing to note about UV is they are, um, it's technically a hazard, hazardous illuminate or, um, wavelength. So you need to have protective, a shroud, UV protective shroud for our operator standing by or they have to have protective gear on cover up all their skin. So if you do use UV light, you have to take safety precautions to make sure that it's safe for everybody standing around. Yeah. Um, for special wavelength lights, uh, we have a UV3 series, um, ring light, bar light, line scan light. Effilux also has UV options. They say 405 and 365, but they have a really cool technology called Pure UV. So pure UV is the idea that um, essentially, you know, I had that graph where my 365 ended, I put my filter on and then my 400 started. Sometimes that 365 tail can kind of get a little bit into the filter. And so we're not, that filter isn't cutting out 100% of our shined light. The pure UV technology really does, that's the point of it. It cuts out 100% of the shined light. So you have, you remove the glare on highly reflective UV samples. Um, if you're going to buy a UV light for your lab, I would recommend buying the FELUX Pure UV light. The Pure UV technology will never hurt your application. It will always only help. So especially if it's for a lab, you come across a reflective sample, you're going to want the Pure UV technology. If your sample's not reflective, it won't help or it won't hurt anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but otherwise, yeah, ring lights, bar lights, UV lights. <laughs>